I'm Mark Reddle, Product Manager and Pro Shooter for Colt Firearms. We're going to talk today about cleaning our AR platform from a field strip position. The first thing I always do before I clean any firearm is wear safety glasses to protect my eyes from solvent. First we're going to talk about the lower receiver. The lower receiver does not get much carbon or dirt in it whatsoever. What I like to do is in this trigger area where my hammer, my sear, my trigger are, is give it a quick spray with some sort of aerosol solvent, wipe it down, and just inspect to make sure I don't see any problems whatsoever. The next area I go to is the upper receiver. The upper receiver is fairly straightforward where I use a bore brush to clean the bore, the rifle bore, like you would any type of rifle. Make sure it's nice and clean. The area that you got to make sure you get clean is in this area here. These lugs here are what the bolt carrier goes in and then locks in order to seat the cartridge all the way so the gun functions. Very important that we clean this area. Now we get into the real nitty gritty of it, which is the bolt carrying those parts. The bolt carrier needs to be clean through this channel here. This channel is, is the area that the bolt rides forward and backwards in and should be clean, make sure there's no carbon in it. I also look at the gas key and just give it a quick tug to make sure it's nice and tight on the, the carrier and there's no problems. The next area I go to is the bolt itself. This back part here does get carbon up quite a bit, so I want to make sure I take all the carbon off of there and keep it nice and clean. I want to make sure that my gas rings look good. There's three there and I have no problems. I also make sure that my extractor's in place, my pin's in place. I give a quick visual to make sure that there's no chips or chunks out of any of these locking lugs whatsoever on my bolt. And I also actually look at the face to make sure that's nice and clean and everything looks good there. The firing pin needs to be wiped down and clean. The most important thing to do is to look at the tip to make sure there's not a chip or a nick or anything wearing on that whatsoever. That can cause a malfunction. The cam key, all I do is wipe it down and give a quick visual to make sure that I don't have any excessive wear or anything like that. That's it. It's a real basic firearm. Easy to maintain. Easy to keep running. See you at the range.